Everyone who judged this year is you know, exceptionally accomplished in their various areas you know, of the jewelry industry. You know, everybody sort of comes with their own, you know, perspective and, you know, and then it's a process of, and I love this, you know, watching one person go, uh, look at the beauty in this and they'll find beauty where they never saw it before. Now, compare this color to the drops from yesterday. It's a gorgeous stone. It's a very unusual choice, but it is a great use of color. It just, like I said, it just moves, it moves you. I think that's fabulous. It's a great piece. I think this is a more daring use. I do too. Look at that tourmaline, holy canola innovative and wonderful and very thought out, much like the other pieces. I think it's a gorgeous array of pastels that work together fantastically. This artist is incredibly talented. Agreed. You know, ask people with uh, different disciplines and different aesthetics um, to uh, participate. And I think that contrast of aesthetics uh, ignited um, some very passionate discussions. I know this is a lot of work, but it just doesn't hold together for me as a composition. Yeah. I would give it best in show. So would I? Best use of color, this pop. Okay. Does anybody want to change their vote? That's also not a pretty piece of jewelry either, so. And this is this one? boring. There is no ambivalence on that piece at all. People like it or hate it. And that's enough of a reason to knock it out then. Excuse me? That's the center stone is terrible. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get the, the best relationship of those I colors my to each what other. Does anybody want to change their vote? Over for my dead body. It looks like some kind of costume thing that you... Despite the fact that there's lots of expensive gemstones in there and the construction Well, that's what makes it even worse. I think it's pretty easy to say, but it's personal, bad design, good design. Despite all the things that are good for it, I think the design is what holds it back. Does anybody want to change their vote? No! <laughs> hey there, we're just playing. We're having a good time. While there may never be consensus in voting, one thing is certain, for those pieces that win, the next stop in the competition goes by in a flash. I mean, it's such a, I think it works so well. I agree. It's so pretty. It's not exactly the hardest part of the job. Yeah. But it's one of the most important. It's kind of... Making sure that every winning piece is shown in the best possible light for future publications and marketing opportunities. What we want, I mean, that's really the centerpiece. There are many reasons to love colored gemstones. Our reactions to an untouched organic element, a beautiful piece of finished jewelry, or a perfectly cut gemstone are as varied and far-reaching as they are uniquely personal. And you realize that there's some stones I just, I'm not as, you know, passionate about. And some, you know, that I would just, you know, give a body part for, you know. <laughs> so, yeah.